What's up gamers, welcome to today's video guys. Today we got a really good treat for you here. Uh, this is one of my favorite uh, series as you guys know. I really love doing uh, the Scheme of the Week videos and if they're helpful to you guys, I really hope that they are. Uh, and I just want some validation that they're being helpful. So if you guys could just let me know uh, in the comments below what about these videos are actually beneficial to you, I'd really appreciate that. But for today's video guys, we're talking about how to beat the Blitz. And we talked uh, about our base play here from the Shotgun Doubles. We talked about how um, how we really like the levels play, and uh, we can use the quick base and different things like that. Uh, we talked about the split close formation, how we can have a nice little good three headed rushing attack out of that. We talked about the shotgun bunch tied in, and how it does a really good job at beating man coverage. Last uh, and then yesterday we talked about the tray open, and why we like the tray open is because of this play right here. Wide corner does a really good job at beating a lot of zone defenses. Now today's video we're going to be talking to you guys about a really good uh, blitz beating formation here and uh, the play that I like to use comes from the pistol trips and the play is the wide receiver screen so obviously as you guys probably know uh, you, you know you probably already know the drill about this play I mean we've probably drilled this into your head several times but in a um, in a def in a situation where they're running uh, a blitz, typically it's going to be a zone blitz or a man blitz. It's really the only thing that you can do here. So we're going to show you first a zone blitz. And all we want to do here are running back Stacy. And you see how we can motion him out into the slot. Um, we can motion him to the left. And let's show you here. We can also bring him uh, to the right. And you see how we can put him right there on that little swing pattern. So we can do those two things. A lot of times people will automatically assume that you're running strong power when you get into this formation. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of take advantage of that, and we're just going to put the running back on a streak. We're then going to take um, this receiver here over here on the far left side and put him on a drag. And we're just going to use this, and this is how we're going to beat the blitz, guys. I mean, it's very simple. Uh, and against a zone blitz, guys, I'm telling you, these wide receiver screens are very good, uh, very good plays, guys. And they do a really nice job of uh, beating the zone. And as you see, first play of practice mode, um, just another touchdown, you know. I mean, it's... It's very simple. If the DBs are back, so here's what, here for example, this is what it would look like. So something like this. You see that these two slots are up like this. You see that they're base aligned. Audible to your pistol trips. Run your play. And um, you see here, a lot of times, guys, you'll be able to uh, read that. It's just a simple progression read. If they're backed off coverage and they're base aligned, audible to this play. Do your setup. And then let's get into the actual formation. So, like, even for example, even if they're in a cover four, watch this. Even if they're in a cover four, if they, if they're still going to have a lot of hard times stopping this play. Now, what happens if they're in a man blitz? Well, this is why we like to work a basic concept on the left side of the field. Now, I know I said to put the far left receiver on a drag. I'm actually going to change my mind on that. Uh, you could do it. Let's show you real quick what it looks like on a drag. You see, you could still do that. The only thing I don't like about it is it's not a whole lot of yards. It doesn't really beat the blitz. You know, it's just kind of a, I mean, it beats the blitz, but it doesn't beat it uh, in the way that I want it to. Let's show you the screen as well. So the screen against man blitzes, uh, typically they actually don't do that bad. They still are kind of open, but I, I kind of just like to assume that they're going to be covered and just throw it, um, throw the ball to the uh, other side of the field. Here we'll show it to you without the hot routes. And we'll just show you the basic wide receiver screen. You see he steps back. We get those blocking. Um, and the only problem with that is, it, you know, if for some reason they stop that, you can't, You have to have another progression. So this is where um, this route on the left side comes in. So uh, I'm going to change my mind. I'm just going to say put the running back on a flat route to the left and then put the far left receiver on an uh, out route. This is a curl flat read. We've been talking about this all year. That out route does a really good job at beating man-to-man -man coverage. Now what about a zone blitz, you ask? Because what if they use her, the wide receiver screen, and then uh, you have to kind of check out of that. Well, you see here as well, out route does a nice job. If the out route doesn't beat uh, the zone blitz, we can dump it down to the back, and he'll do a good job. Things like that, guys. And um, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about. I just wanted to show you this quick play here. Obviously, you know, we can talk all day about how you can use this formation outside of just the wide receiver screen. 
Uh, you can run different play actions. You can run the ball. Guys, running the ball out of the pistol is really actually pretty effective. And um, I think that it's a very underrated formation in the game. I don't see it a whole lot, to be honest. Uh, I know people complain about not being able to stop the run from pistol. But unfortunately, I don't think I see it enough. So just encourage you guys to get into the pistol formation, guys. Uh, we got pistol trips here today talking about the wide receiver screen and how it beats the blitz. Um, but that's the video for today, guys. So if you would just do me a quick favor and subscribe to my channel. If you liked the video, I would greatly appreciate it. And remember what I said at the beginning of the video. If you guys could just leave one comment talking about how these videos are impacting your game and how they're making you a better player, I'd greatly appreciate it. And uh, it would mean a lot to me. Thanks, guys.